This is this morning at Del Mar, July 23rd, American Pharaoh getting ready for the Haskell Invitational. And Matt Carruthers, we have sat here and analyzed a few of his recent workouts, his last work at, out at Santa Anita, and each and every time he looks identical. He does it so easy. And then you look down at the clock and say, how was he going that fast given yep. the body language that he's putting out on the racetrack? No, you're right. When, when he works in, in 50, 59, you know, it looks like he's going 101. You know, in this instance, this morning, um, you know, the final time, 111, that's really fast. For some of our new viewers and some of our new our audiences that just joined us, don't know maybe a ton about racing. I mean, 111 is very quick. I mean, a lot of horses that compete on a daily basis in races in the afternoon don't go 111 in a six furlong event. He's doing it without trying here this morning. Uh, he, he is a machine, 12 and 2, 24, the th first three eights and 36 and 1, 58 and 2, 111. He galloped out uh, 124 in the mile in 38 and 2. He ships out to Jersey, I believe, on Wednesday. Scotty, and uh, again, the big race is is 10 days from now on Sunday, August 2nd. Baffert says he needed his last workout on the 18th right. at Del Mar. He says this racetrack's a little bit more tiring, takes a little bit more out of you. So we, we've seen a little bit of that in the racing in the afternoons at Del Mar. Uh, so Baffert encouraged by this, as were the Zayats, they were on hand to see their Triple Crown champion workout at Del Mar. And Baffert has seven past Haskell winners. His first came with point given back in 2001. And prior to this year, that was Baffert's only other Belmont winner. So a lot of similarities as far as the path with Point Given and American Pharaoh. And Point Given was one of the horses that we talk about and horses that were denied a triple crown on the front end. He and a fleet Alex, horses that uh, could have easily won it considering what they went on and did uh, in the last two legs. But I was trying to find similarities in, in Baffert's other seven Haskell winners and how he got there. Not a, not a ton. I mean, a lot of these horses that he had, looking at Lucky, uh, Painter, mm -hmm. War Emblem, did go through the Triple Crown paces, but some of them didn't. So there, there's not a, a recipe that, that Baffert sticks to to getting these horses uh, to Haskell successes. He's just great at getting them ready for this time of the year, getting them to peak, and I think we've continued to see it with American Pharaoh in these workouts. And here's a list of possibles. These are possible okay, yeah, yeah. for the Haskell. Yeah, let's hear it. Competitive Edge, who we saw not run all that well Belmont Day in the Woody Stevens. Woody Stevens, Still odds on favor, didn't hit the board, but, but Pletcher has said he's been thriving the last week or two. That's why he might give him a shot at nine furlongs in the Haskell against American. Yeah, Pro. still a nice Colt. Some win the Pat Day Mile uh, on uh, Derby Week. Stanford, we saw him win the Long Branch. How easy was that? Another That's Pletcher. the question. Mr. Jordan, he won the Pegasus. He's a front-running type. He could be putting pressure on American Fair, at least for the first part of the race. Uh, Teak Don, he was second in the Pegasus. War Story, we've heard his name thrown about for Luch Racing. Uh, Keen Ice, it's the first time I've seen his name in this conversation. We thought that he was being put towards a a turf race, right? sort of campaign. Secretariat, that's, I thought, at Arlington. That would seem to make more sense. Uh, bent on Bourbon, recent winner of the Iowa Derby, and then Good Pick Nick, who was third in the Pegasus. That is the group of possibles that we have for the Haskell. How many lengths behind well, American Pharaoh are these horses? You have one horse that's scary good, and there's nobody else, so why not take a shot and, and say, I run second in a grade $1 million event. Boy, could that mean a lot, right? Absolutely. I mean, running second in this race, this is one of the most prestigious races we have in the country. It's the Haskell. It's a million dollars. The biggest race they have by a mile at a great racetrack with a great history in Monmouth Park coming this Sunday, the 2nd of August. You'll see your Triple Crown winner, American Farrell.